friend that Don found all of those um, coral snakes. Uh, I don't know about coral that time. Snakes, and he put them in a jar. <gasps> and he couldn't remember how many of them there were. Oh, no. <laughs> and they got loose in so the house. Poisonous. And we slept in the hammer room for about three weeks. Thinking, you know, they'd get in the bed, or we Did didn't you know keep where they finding were. Finding them, we found some about four or five. But even no. la two weeks later, were you still finding them? Uh, I don't remember, but I remember it was a, a real occasion. No, we had all kinds of adventures. <laughs> adventures, yes, and there it wasn't dull, but we weren't always happy with it either. Where, where where did you guys have the monkey? In Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Yeah. That, the people felt so sorry for us because we were so, you know, uh, isolated. It was ha had been such an abrupt change, and there were no other kids to play with. They'd bring us things. Who gave you the monkey? <laughs> Who gave you the monkey? Who gave it to us? Mm -hmm. One of uh, the people that worked out on the, the construction. I guess they just found it and they decided. We, the, the monkey hated Don. And it would get up in the rafters above the door. And when he'd walk through the door, it flopped down on him and wrap its tail around his neck. And to get that damn monkey off of him. <laughs> A real struggle. If, if he didn't like him, why would he jump on him? Because Don used to take him into the shower. You know how they have all of these showers uh, in barrack, barracks. Uh -huh. And he'd pull a chain and, <laughs> and the monkey would get furious. And he get Don wet. did that to the, to the parrot, too. The parrot wasn't happy with Don. And, and the monkey didn't bite him? I don't remember. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. We gave the monkey away because, not only that, it used to get into mother's uh, uh, costume jewelry. And That's pretty funny. No, no, no. And then we had uh, big tarantulas on the screen. I mean, at night, they're attracted to the light. And they have tarantulas this big, and they're big black spots. And we had, and to get to the, uh, to the, uh, the dining area in this uh, compound, uh, we had to go at night. And so Pat would go with a, a, a flashlight and a big stick ahead of us because of the snakes. So it. It was just, you know, coming from a Texan town to this, it was just wild. Yeah. It was. Oh, wow. And, and then I, from Merida, so you you lived in two places in Merida. You lived in the two, you two just... Two places where? In Merida. Merida. Yeah, and I then you. And then from where, where did you go from there? <coughs> Mother was down to about 95 pounds because... Ooh, she couldn't eight. take the heat. And uh, so we went to, she was going to go back to the States and uh, to uh, gain some weight because she wasn't feeling well. But she stopped in, uh, she stopped in Saltillo, which is right outside of Monterey and it's in the mountains and it's where people go, or used to go to get away from the heat of Monterey and we'd go up to the mountains. And she met uh, Jimmy Watson. Do you oh, remember Jimmy Lord, Watson? Oh, good Lord, of course. Well, the wife of a senator. Yes. And they became a US great senator. buddies. Uh, she, we stopped at this um, dude ranch so she mother could gain some weight because she didn't want to appear you know, emaciated when she went back to the States, she went to make a big entrance. <laughs> and so she met Jimmy, who was as crazy as she was, and they had a ball, and so we spent the summer there, 
and we never did get to the States. Then she it was took us to Monterey and we put us in, in school for oh, six months. So Jimmy Watson was the wife of a sen. He was he a retired senator at the time? No, I think he was a district attorney for Dallas or, or Houston or one of those. And so why was she in Saltillo? I don't know. Oh, I think he was gay, and I th and she was not attractive um, physically. I think it was a marriage of convenience. And, uh, but he did become a senator, I know that. I don't know he what did. it was, but anything, anyway, it was some big cover book. They later had a house in uh, Cuernavaca. Oh, yeah, that was fabulous. fabulous. It had the most amazing jacaranda trees in the garden. And uh, I remember going to Cuernavaca and staying there, and overnight the blossoms would just blanket just carpet the, the ground under the trees. Yeah. I should put my... <laughs> Donna, you yeah, I, what you need, she needs, I'm going to stop this for a minute. Yeah.